Hello everybody. Welcome to K&D's Homestead. I'm Donna. This morning I'm going to make some blueberry muffins. I make muffins for breakfast kind of often. We like different flavored muffins. Once in a while I'll make them during the day or for an evening snack. But today I'm going to make some blueberry muffins. But before I make the actual muffins, I want to share with you how I keep these ingredients at the ready so that I don't have to stop and prepare in the moment that I'm going to be making them. So um, I'm all about having a lot of things pre-planned or pre-made ahead of time, whether it's stored in canning jars or in the freezer or dry storage like what I'm doing right here. I personally don't like to take that time when I'm ready to cook something. I don't want to deal with all that prep work in advance. Even if it just saves me five minutes, it feels like it saves me plenty of time. So these kind of things I like to do ahead of time. I store generally about eight um, jars of muffin mix on the shelf. It seems I have nine. I must have over, you know, filled one more than I planned, but that's okay. We go through these pretty often. I like to pre-mix all of the dry ingredients and keep on hand, and then when I'm ready to make them, all I have to do is add the wet ingredients. And since they are dry ingredients, they are shelf-stable. So with this muffin mix, I, I have pint-sized jars, and then I also save these jelly jars. They are great for storage. They have the jelly lid on them, but the recipe holds up to about here on this jelly jar. Now for the pint jar, they are filled all the way up. And sometimes when I'm filling the jars with the dry ingredients, I have to tamp them down like this, you know, and get it to pack so that there's room to add the final couple of ingredients. But the measurements do fit in a one pint jar. I also pre-make my crumb topping. It's a cinnamon crumb topping that I put on the um, muffins as well. So all those dry ingredients and then all I have to do, here are the jars. I keep them on the shelf, my pantry shelf. So all I ha have to do is grab one jar to make the muffins and then I grab this cinnamon crumb topping and just add the wet ingredients. It speeds up the process pretty good. So in this jar, and I make them per jar, I don't make them all in a, a big bowl or anything, I add all the ingredients one jar at a time. And the ingredients that I add to these jars I put one and a half cups of all-purpose flour in this jar. I put three quarters of a cup of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking powder. And that is all the dry ingredients. And then I seal them up nice and tight. When I'm ready to make the muffins that morning or that evening, whenever I'm gonna make them, which is what I'm gonna do now. I take one jar of this. I have my instructions right here. I'm gonna add one third cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna add one egg and a third cup of milk. But what I do, I dump this into the bowl. Then these measurements, the, the wet measurements, don't go in the bowl right away. I put the wet measurements in here because it's pretty specific. I add the one third cup of vegetable oil, one egg, and it's approximately one third cup of milk. It could be more or less. What we want to do is get that liquid up to the one cup mark. If that means a third cup of milk, that's fine. If it means a little less, just to bring it to one cup, that's what I do. And then that goes into the mixture. And then I add one cup of fruit. In this case, today I'm doing blueberries. 
and you can do bananas, you can do apples, whatever flavor of muffins that you want using fruit or berries, that's what we use. Um, I recently, in the, it's on a short video, I did um, apple cinnamon. So I used apples instead of the blueberries. Today I'm gonna to use the blueberries. So I wanted to share with you how you can stockpile things that are ready-made and halfway prepared, but are shelf stable. And it gets you, you know, a little bit of extra time. Plus if you don't have to like drag all the ingredients out and do the mixing thing and all of that, it makes it easier to want to bake something because half the job is already done. First, I'm gonna take one jar of my pre-made mix and I'm gonna put it in my bowl. And that's all the dry ingredients. Now, I just put them in the jar one on top of the other so they do need to be blended a little bit to get the salt, the flour, the baking soda, all mixed in. That should be good. That aside, now I'm going to do the one egg. into my, um, my measuring cup. I'm going to add a third cup of vegetable oil. I probably need this paper towel. There's one third cup of vegetable oil. I want to bring the oil and the egg up to the one cup mark. So I'm gonna add the milk. You can either measure it out or just pour it straight in to bring this up to the one cup mark. I am going to break this egg up and mix the oil and the milk and the egg together. That sounds to be good. Now I'm going to just pour that into my mixture and get it mixed really well. Y'all, we had a cool down overnight. I don't know what the temperature got to, but it got down really cool. We went to bed with the AC on and I froze all night. And then this morning, it was super cool in the 60s when we got up. It was a nice change, but I was ill prepared because I was cold. And it's not too bad outside right now. It's in the 70s, I think around 77. Now I'm gonna add my one cup of blueberries. And you, you can add a little or less, but I don't recommend adding more because this recipe is going to fill 12 cups, uh, muffin cups. And the cups will overflow if you have to put them too full. All right, that's ready. I am going to put mine in muffin cups, the actual paper cups. You can do them just in the muffin pan, but I would recommend spraying them with um, some Pam but for cleanup purposes, I like to use the paper cups. I'm gonna 
try not to spill these. I'm going to fill my cups half full. I might have to go back and add just a little bit to that one. Now to add the um, crumb topping, I'm just going to add some butter to my cinnamon crumb topping mix. It's softened butter. I don't like to melt the butter because then when it gets in the oven, it's just going to cause that topping to spread out everywhere. So I just used, used the softened butter. I'm going to get a different bowl to mix that in. One. Three tablespoons of the pre-mixed cinnamon crumb topping. I'm going to add about a tablespoon at a time of softened butter. And I'm just going to press that in there to moisten all of the cinnamon and sugar to get a real crumb effect. You don't want a whole bunch of this sugar topping because I promise it's going to go far. So I'm just gonna keep mashing it in with a fork to get it moist, not wet, but just moist. If you have to add more butter, add more butter. If you have to add a little more of the cinnamon topping, up. It's got some significant lumps in it, which is what I want. And I'm just going to sprinkle that on top of the muffins. Not too heavy. And any that's left over, if you make too much, it goes well in the freezer. Now I've seen some people, they will mix in brown sugar. I don't do it, I don't feel it's necessary. The flavor is just fine with the cinnamon and sugar. That was just about the perfect amount. I'm gonna go back and add a tiny bit so I can use this up. And then this is ready to go in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. I always set my timer for the least amount and then I start checking it. So the uh, recipe calls for 20 to 25, so I'm just setting it for 20. I'm not sure if I said earlier in the video what the ingredients are in this jar for the cinnamon crumb toppings. At the risk of repeating myself, I'm going to tell you again this is a half a cup of sugar, a third cup of flour, and one and a half to two tablespoons of cinnamon. And they just stay, you know, you it, it'll fill up to about here. I've been using this one, but this is shelf stable as well. And this can be used on other um, desserts or as a topping for other things as well, besides just using the muffins. 
and all that has to be done is add the softened butter when the time comes. So I take out three tablespoons of this mixture and add in one tablespoon at a time of softened butter and get it mixed in. If it stays kind of dry and doesn't seem like it is mixing in good, then I'll add just a little bit more. But I start with one tablespoon of soft butter and mash that in with a fork. And as you can see, I still have softened butter left over. So it didn't take that much. You don't want to melt the butter and you don't want to overuse the butter because then it'll just melt in the oven and become just a greasy mess. Now here's another thing. Now these are in on my pantry shelves, but as I use them and empty them out, I just close the lid up tight because this is just dry ingredients. It's not wet, it doesn't really get dirty. I leave it empty and I put it back on the shelf. And after I have used a handful of these, then I will refill the ones that's empty, but it also lets me know I can see at a glance when I'm getting low on this stuff. So that's my little tidbit for that. I will be back in a few minutes to show you the finished result. Okay, there they are. It took 21 minutes for my oven. All right, these are ready. I'll take it out. Two paper cups, I didn't know that. They're still kind of hot. That's delicious. Kevin, you need to come and get you one. That's it for this video. Muffins, blueberry, they are good. I hope you liked this video. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.